Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Copper Coins Coin Roll Hunt Reveal E242, a 1940p Market Street National Bank roll, Batdorf style. You can see that right here. We're going to get things started here in a few. Says we got four people here. Welcome, Paul Adams. Hope everybody's having a great holiday. Let me gra grab the chip here. Chip is number 12. Let a couple more people get into chat and we will get it rolling. Roger, welcome. Tyler, how are you today? Uh, pardon me. Let's see what these look like. Oh, look pretty good. Welcome, Crispy. Farm Dog. All right, we got enough to get things rolling here. And number one is for Taco John. Did everybody have enough food to eat today? <coughs> pardon me. We got a fur ball or something. We have lots to look for. Turn this down just a little bit. Double die obverses and double die reverses. Machine doubling on this one. First batch of morels, nice. <clears throat> A great day to have that. Coin number two goes to Ant. Pardon me, I've got a tickle in my throat, can't get rid of it. Richard Sappington, welcome. So far, decent coins, nothing to show as far as varieties. <clears throat> Not a lot of markers on these coins yet either. <clears throat> Pardon me, wow. If I would have known that was coming, I would have waited a few minutes to start. There's a marker right there. Worn but hard to see, but it is there. Right, me too, JJ. Got two of these rolls. So I know what to, hopefully, if we find something in this one, I know what I'll find in mine. Ooh, some spots on that coin. And that is moisture, it looks like. There's some nice DDRs and DDOs. On the bottom of the reverse. Well, let me take a peek here. 
that's just a little a later die state coin. I think the name for that is premature dieware, uh, where you start getting the little pits, the pitting right there. And then it's die transfer is the design in the center. Indirect die transfer, I think that's called. Yeah, I've only I've got a like an AUBU forty double die, but it definitely came out of a circulated roll. But it's definitely there. There is no doubt. I'm looking at the date because there is one on the date that's kind of hard to see. So you'll see me taking a little extra time on the date. This is an earlier die state, it looks like, so let's see what we can find here. See, we had die markers on this one, too. Point number seven goes to Carl. I have been waiting all week to look at this roll. It's been driving me crazy. Coin number eight goes to JJ. We'll die crack on the head on this one. Later die state again. print on it. <clears throat> Coin number nine. Yeah, whoever rolled these definitely must have had their hands in the kitty. Because that roll was super tight. And there is no <clears throat> fake in that. Coin number 10 for Chuck Patillo.
Point number 11 goes to Mickey. <clears throat> Yeah, we were working in <clears throat> the other room over there, and I found a bag of AU wheats that I haven't looked through and another bag of wheats that I hadn't looked through. I probably had them for 20 years now. <clears throat> so the 40, 41, 42 DDRs should be in there. Okay, let me silence my phone here. Different die pair here. <clears throat> oh, and that's coin number 12. That is the winner of the $10 giveaway. Coin number 12. I didn't miss it. Yay me. All right, Jack Lope. So far, we have found nothing. Okay, coins. Good strikes. Little, some of them are a little later die state. Had a few with fingerprints. Here, egg. Put that on the wrong thing. Whew, glad I saw that. All right, coin 13. Dan, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a great holiday. Little die break, little die chip on the E, kind of interesting. And it's another print. And I guess it was 1940, so nothing was air conditioned. So if you were sweating, you were sweating. Coin 14 goes to Sissy. Hopefully we come across something good soon. This has got a different die pair there. Ooh, that's great, Tyler. It amazes me how people are still finding clipped coins in coins that have been in circulation for 105 years. But they do. You're not the only one. This one is a Woody. Dan, how's that going? And what dance go is it? Is it the one that has the proofs and everything, or is it just the wheat or memorial or <clears throat> I 
I did end up sending you an email, Jackalope, but it was from my personal email about that memorial set that uh, we had talked about. I don't know if you ever got to see it or not. 37S1DR2. You know, I found one of those and it was, it has some sort of black gunk. I'm not sure exactly what it is on it. Uh, just like the 30, 38S DDO, or DDR number two, I found a couple of them and they had some weird black spots on them too. Yeah, it would be from earwig at gmail.com. I forgot to change it over to my Copper Coins email. Coin number 18 goes to Ant. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm losing my voice, and I don't know why. So if I sound funny and I'm a little quieter than normal, try and bear with me. Next coin is for Jackalope. You know, I haven't looked through too many of those, Tyler. I looked through my pocket change. Um, and I, you know, last year I did not get a lot of, seen this die pair before. It's got the little die chip on the E. But uh, I didn't get a lot of 2023 coins or I haven't got any 2024 coins here yet either uh, but no rolls this year last time I got rolls of uh, solid date coins was 2022 I know the nickels are I ended up having everybody send me nickels and they're crazy uh, I mean that's why me and Paul have been talking and it's like they had to change the the minting or the way they they make the dies the hubbing process because uh, it's just crazy the amount of double dies oh no kidding Dan that's cool yeah sure I love seeing that stuff I collect everything. I just, um, pennies are my favorite, or cents. I don't want to anger anybody by calling them pennies. But uh, I call them pennies. That's why I always throw that uh, nomenclature uh, warning out. Do you know I saw a neat little uh, post about the origin of scent and why we call it one scent. And the reason we call it one scent is it's one percent of a dollar. <clears throat> so the word scent was derived from percent. You can see a lot of the indirect die transfer. See right there is the top of Lincoln's head. Goes up, you see how the jacket comes out. 
that actually is imprinted into the die through striking a bunch of planches. And they call that indirect die transfer. Have they found any? Uh... Yes, that's right, Ant. And hello, have they found any 2024 DD, uh, DDOs yet? I haven't seen any. And nobody's e emailed me anything. And I usually do get emails of some stuff. Was it one, though? This right here has a very minute clip. Thought I saw it on the obverse. So we have a real minor clip. Actually, you see it from the reverse, but you can see it on the on the actual right there. So let's see where that's at guess you can't see it from the obverse but it is very minor yeah, I guess you can it's right there and if you I don't know if I can get it to focus or if I can get this this camera to focus but you can just see it Let's see if we can oh that's pictures too small this won't focus it but you can see it on the by the right wheat there's a weakness of the of the edge right there and it's just a little nick I am using a Amscope 3x5x by 35x trinocular microscope with a 18 megapixel camera on it I have seen a better microscope set up, but I don't have the money for it. I've had one offered to me, and then when I heard the price, I was like, ooh, man, I could buy a car for that much money. Okay, will do, Jackalope. do I recommend for value um I, I actually don't care uh, Roger I haven't seen any yet I did look at a bunch of them that were on eBay and I didn't see anything that uh, made me think that I had to have it okay. come on get in here no trouble making Go lay down. Come on. Get in your bed. Um, what do I recommend for value? You know, uh, there's not a real good, cheap microscope. The one that I've seen that seems to do the best, but it has color issues, is the one that has, like, the little monitor with it. Uh, I've seen, and, and they work pretty good but they're not going to be like this but you will be able to see stuff so I mean even the cheapest of the cheap uh, endoscope type scopes uh, they function I've used them before uh, the thing with those is you have to try to get away from their their little light ring that they come with and 
get a light that your own light source so you can mitigate the shadows and the reflections there are a few people that use the cheaper scopes that take pretty darn good pictures uh, Brady and Jody they did uh, pretty good with them Jessica had a higher end uh, endoscope type the the Dynalite which if you're if you're into spending five hundred dollars uh, it's not bad but for another couple hundred you can have have this but ultimately the twenty dollar ones off of eBay or, or Amazon you can make those work too if you play with it and uh, get a uh, little crafty did she I know that that I had heard her saying that she has been scoping uh, out eBay also and that she had not seen anything uh, that was legit I'll have to go through maybe I'll do that after seeing this die pair uh, tonight and see if I see any because it's only a matter of time it's only a matter of time and there will be some anyways there I mean I think there's been some every year so far hey Carl happy Easter hope you and your family are having a great day all we have is one super minor clip planchet so far and actually you were the one who got the clipped planchet see this almost looks the same let me see here nope it is not Tomorrow I have a 1960D small date roll. Be great to see what's in that. Yeah, I haven't I haven't even gotten 2023s down here yet, Tyler. There's been nickels and dimes and quarters, a few quarters, like in change. And I get pennies in change. There's a little die clash right there. But nothing actually do some hardcore searching uh, except for nickels I did get some nickel rolls and you know I've heard that from from a few people farm dog uh, and then like Mickey he says he got there was 2023s all over and I know that uh, my friend in Michigan, he says he's been getting change for his businesses and it's been just tons of brand new coins. Nineteen oh nine S in AU, God. I'm not sure. Um that could be pricey. Let me look at Numis Media. Let's see, fair market prices. And Numis Media, that's the site that I find to be the fairest of all of them. if it lets me get on see AU I was think I would think more than 600 oh Numis Media must be packed tonight
Well, we'll see if it comes up. I'll just keep keep looking over there and if I get a chance, I will. A little bit of a struck through right there. All right, let's see what we got for that. Oh, can't be reached. But numismedia.com is, you go there and it'll tell you a true retail and then you go from there. Uh, but you'll be pretty close. Yeah, out of all the price guides, there seems to be uh, a little bit better than everybody else's. There was, at the fun show last time, uh, in January, there was a lot of 1908S and 1909S Indians. There was one dealer that had a bunch of them. I was like, wow, how could he get that many of them? There's a struck through right by the one in the date. Seven hundred AU fifty three. That might be high for that, um, but it's not terribly unreasonable. I don't think. I think that a high AU one could be around a thousand dollars, but it would have to be like AU fifty eight or something like that. Got to look at that T and forty one. I wonder if there's any of these. No, nope, that's not one. I thought that might be like the class 7 and 41 on the T right there. And I don't think there is anything in 1940. Nope, I see nothing. I have plus, let's see, I think I've seen this die pair. Queen 35 goes to Ant. AU 55, 750. So, yeah, AU 53, that's, that's probably pretty close to fair retail for that. You're talking gray sheep bid, right? Yeah, th those are prices that dealers are supposed to pay with one another. Not so much what they sell to the general public, even though many, 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 many dealers do use that to sell to the public.
this is a pretty nice 40p right here I used to subscribe to the gray sheet and that's one publication I I like buy one once a year uh, I get one at the fun show of course but they really kind of screwed roll pricing up and that's what I always bought it for um, it's kind of useless for roll pricing now matter of fact right before I moved here I probably got rid of 250 old gray sheets some from the 90s should have kept them but you can actually buy a book that has all the old gray sheets in it and it's amazing when you look at like 60p small date how they go up and down uh, Oh, that's cool. That's cool. A lot of coin shops, they just keep them forever. Like the one I go to, he just grabs the one he's like, he says, they don't change that much. And so I'm not worried about the 30 cents. Uh, unless you're looking at a big money coin. He just has them on like every counter. But half the time he doesn't even use those anymore. He just shoots a price out. Uh, he's not a big penny person. He's getting old, so he, he just buys stuff for convenience. So if somebody's selling something good to him and they got some pennies, he buys the pennies. And I don't think he pays them gray sheet for them. If he does, he's losing money selling them to me. But he used to get rolls all the time, and I don't, I don't. I'm lucky to get about maybe ten rolls a month from him now, and I used to get God sixty, seventy rolls a week through him. But he charged me gray sheet then, but that's before he was like trying to retire. do believe Chuck will be finishing his uh, proof pull tomorrow. I'm not sure what else is going on. I had just briefly touched base with him today. Ooh, nice little struck through. Nice struck through grease. or gunk or whatever you want to call it coin 42 goes to frostbite supposed to be getting a bunch more rolls from the same guy that I got these rolls from kinda I paid a paid up on a couple rolls and I'm kind of worried now these aren't bad but I like really seriously overpaid for these but they were Batdorf so you kind of got to and his shipping hopefully he got the word because his shipping was just awful literally threw 350 rolls in a large flat rate box and taped it shut so this roll was bouncing around with a bunch of 2009D and 2009P rolls. But they didn't break. They stayed they straight stayed solid and there was a bunch of of uh, the 2009P rolls that did, you know, come like that. That's one of them right there. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it was he he, he sold a lot of coins for that coin pull. Um that takes a long time. I mean, it takes an hour to us for us to look at 50 coins. When you're looking at at 500, even if you're looking at them for just a few seconds, uh, it takes a long time. I wouldn't have a voice at the end of it. My voice, I have a hard time doing more than one reveal in a day. Or I start to lose my voice. And I thought I was going to lose my voice during this one. It's still really scratchy, but... Woody here? We have had a couple Woodies in the roll. This one's actually pretty nice. Very, very little Woody on the back. There's 49 coins in the roll. How the heck did that happen? It was a fucking tight roll. Excuse my language. Oh, that, that's one of the best places to get uh, album fillers, Dan, is uh, that, those coin poles. It's weird, though, that 43 bat door roll I had, thinking about it. There was a roll that I did, and it had 51 coins in it. But this should have be, shouldn't have been low. The other one has a little rip in it. And it's unfolded a little bit. This one, the rip was not through the bead. It was it was solid still. And and there that's Tyler, that they're probably there. Uh put them aside. And keep, try again because most of them are probably listed there I'm sure there's some that aren't but a lot of times when especially because a lot of them are like little minor split serifs that you have to kind of walk away and then restart again and you know in the morning and then all of a sudden you're like oh there it is went by it ten times And there is the ender right there, and it is the ender. So this coin was, this roll was a coin short. So coin 50 will get a refund. I gotta say I have not seen that you know in 60 D rolls I've seen 49 coins or 51 coins and it does happen even when you buy bank boxes that you find stuff in there that are low or high rotated but still can't find it send me a picture of it and anything that you see as a good decent marker and the last coin would have been for Jordan. Let's make sure it's not here. That's not it. No, it's not here. So he will get a refund. Let me write this down. Hopefully Parvis got his browsers working again. He was not able to view YouTube because somebody 
increased his security and installed a pop-up blocker. Oh, let me write that amount down. Okay. Oh, well that, I mean, that could, it could be one that's listed and that we just don't have markers for it. Uh, matter of fact, I just did a couple of those last week uh, where I took photos and haven't put them up yet. So, but anyways, I appreciate everybody coming and I hope everybody had a great night. I will see everybody 5.30ish tomorrow for a 60D, where is it? Let's see. Is this it? No. What's this? Nope. Let's see, is it? Citizens National, that's the 60D small date roll. Ooh, what's this? 60D large date rolls, nice. But I hope uh, you all have a great rest of your holiday. And uh, I will see everybody tomorrow. Probably see everybody in the morning, like usual. We'll talk to you all later. Hit that like button on the way out. You guys have a great night. Bye.